Hello everyone, Ben here at Artec Wilding. Today we're going to look at plasma consumables in the P50 and P30 torch. So the idea of this video is just to run through all the consumables, um, you know, how they work, how they go together, also a little bit of maintenance, sort of when to change um, and how you could sort of prolong those tips a little bit and the electrodes um, and technique a little bit. So yeah, just to help you guys get you know, the most use out of your torches and the consumables. You know, it's useful if you, if you already own one of our plasma cutters, but also if, if you're looking at getting one, sort of what's involved. So we will start with the P30, uh, it's a little bit more basic sort of how it's set up and how it goes together is a little bit easier. Um, so the first thing to sort of always notice is when, when it's all put together, everything should sort of fit in there tightly so that this should not move at all, the, the cutting tip on the end. So we'll quickly just take it apart. So you've got your main, your main shroud on the outside, um, cutting tip, gas diffuser, and your electrode. Now the electrode can be used both sides, so it sort of flips around. It just sort of fits in uh, loosely on top until you screw the, um, screw the shroud on the top. So the first thing to go in is your electrode, that just sits in. Then your distributor on top, and then cutting tip on top of that. So once you've got all those in place, the shroud literally just screws over the top, all the way down, just hand tight's fine. Once that's in, like I say, make sure you, nothing's moving around and you're good to start cutting. Nice and easy. So the P50 is a little bit more involved. Um, again, the shroud just screws on top of everything. Um, and this does have a standoff as well. Um, so double pointed spacer on there and it just secures in place with a little grub screw. And it, one note worth mentioning is when tightening that down, not to over tighten too much. Um, Cause what can happen if you really wrench it around, that will crack the, um, yeah, you know, the coating on the on the retainer nozzle. So yeah, it's all you need is a little tweak, that's enough. Um, so similar to the P30, the cutting tip is just loosely sitting on top. And then you've also got a distributor, looks a little bit different, but again, just fits on. But the electrode is screwed in. So you get a little tool in the box. And then this, with the tool, you can just unscrew in and obviously screw it in. Um, and then underneath there, you've got an air tube. So the air tube also screws in. That's a little one there. So the air tube, to be fair, will last way longer than sort of the rest of them. It doesn't really get affected too much. Um, so yeah, use your little tool, just a little tweak around. You know, you're not wrenching it in there. Um, and then the electrode in next. So these are worth always checking because obviously as it gets hot and cold, hot and cold, cooling down, they will sort of, they can, you know, loosen on their own. So again, when you tighten them on, just a little tweak. And it's just over hand tight. Then your gas distributor, slots on top, cutting tip on top of there, and retaining nozzle over the top, and it all just screws in. Again, home it all the way down. Make sure nothing's moving around. Um, so one thing I'm, I'll mention straight away with this, it does have a torch switch circuit safety. Um, so all it is is two small pins inside the head, which make contact with the retaining nozzle, which has a you know a brass ring, um, and that needs to be making full contact for the machine to be able to fire. So if you ever get any issues with the machine's not firing, that's one thing to check. Everything's making contact. Okay, so as far as using the torches and also um, how you can help prolong the life a little bit of your tips and sort of little techniques when using them. Um, we'll start off with the P30. Um, it is a contact start machine and torch. Um, so what I mean by that is with the P50, it has a pilot arc. So you press the trigger and an arc will be coming out of the torch before you even contact anything. Whereas with the P30, um, yeah, nothing will happen until you actually contact with the, with the metal that you're cutting. Points worth noting on both torches, um, they are drag tips, and what I mean by that is they're designed to be in contact with the metal while cutting. But that said, if you can, if you can leave a gap of one to two mil, 
you're going to prolong the life of your tips massively um, just because you know there's there's nothing getting up inside the tip as much as when you're dragging it along um, me personally with the p30 i do always sort of drag it along um, but yeah if you want want to get that little bit more life out of them then yeah leave that little gap obviously with the p50 it's a lot easier because you've got the double pointed spacer on there um, so it, you know it maintains the gap for you by just resting it down so yeah that will help help with your, your life of your tips as mentioned earlier the electrode has two sides to it uh, in the p30 so uh, you get you know twice the life out of it effectively um, and when that needs changing you'll notice because it literally shortens in length and becomes very blackened and you know it's time to either flip it around or yeah put a new one in there um, and with the curtain tip um, you've got a nice neat hole in there when it's brand new and, and you'll notice over time through cutting uh, the hole will elongate become larger um, and your cut will just deteriorate you know it won't cut as thick it won't cut as quick and you know it's time to change that tip um, similar on the p50 so the electrode will burn away in length you don't get twice the life out of it just because it screws in so it's got thread on one side and the, and the actual electrode on the other end but yeah once once that starts to burn away and blackened again it needs changing um, and exactly the same with the cutting tip you've got a one more hole in the end and if that elongates it gets larger and also you know you get dross and stuff all around the tip just like this one that's time to change um, so the shrouds on the on the p30 they, they last last fairly well um, again just just dross and through use when it when it you know you'll just see visually it needs a new one um, and the p50 um, it's important to notice on this one especially if using the double pointed spacer because there's an insulation you know a coating around that brass retaining nozzle if you lose that all around the all around the front what can happen is your double pointed spacer will arc out to the cutting tip and you'll get all sorts of issues with your cut um, another thing that can happen from as mentioned earlier it's over tightening that grub screw um, just you know you're destroying that insulation you know, straight from the off and you're not going to do yourself any favors so it's worth keeping an eye on that insulation all around you know the, the plastic coating keeping an eye on that um, double pointed spacer will sort of slowly burn down over time as well just through heat and use um, so yeah it's, it's overall it's looking at the condition of your consumables you know they're called consumables for a reason and that is because you know you will get through them you know they're a consumable item um, so yeah it's just looking at them if they if they look like they've seen better days then it is time to replace them you know and replacing them often is going to prolong the life of your torch um, the more you use you know damaged consumables for a prolonged period the more you're going to damage that torch over time you know so right so as far as actually cutting um, this is quite important um, again you know for, for the life of your tips so with both machines it's a similar scenario you know when you come in to start your cut it's always important if you can is to edge edge start with the cut so if you're ever piercing um, you're on the back foot straight away there you know you are going to use tips a lot quicker so if you whenever you can always start from the edge and come in and then once you get going um, with a p30 like i say you're not going to see anything until it actually starts and um, the p50 it's important that you're seeing visibly that it's going from pilot arc to main arc um, so pilot arc is around 20 amps and then you're going into your main arc which could be 20 to 50 um, but if you're at your higher end it's, it's very visibly easy to see um, because as you know the brightness the strength of the arc will change um, if you're running pilot arc constantly with not going into main arc um, again that's not going to do your, do your tips or electrodes any favor so once you get going once you've started um, it's all about looking at the dross you know the material the molten material that's coming out the back um, so you always want it, be, want it to be exiting downwards. And so when you start, if you, when you start cutting, when you start moving along, if that dross and material starts coming back at you, you know you're going too quick or your amperage isn't set high enough for the thickness of material. As soon as all the dross starts coming back at you, you know, that's going to destroy your tips really quickly because all that molten metal is coming back up into the torch. Um, so yeah watch out for your dross you want to exit in downwards uh, and the other side if the arc starts cutting out so you, you know your your machine is, is coming in and out of, of arc then you, you're not going quick enough so you need to be speeding up a little bit it all comes with time and, and practice you know it's once you start using this often and, and, and get familiar with your machine you know you will get used to how quick or slow to go when you're doing different different materials but yeah nailing the right technique and going at the right speed you will prolong those the life of those tips you know and, and well, all the consumables really so as far as anywhere else that 
that's worth watching for consumables is 100% moisture. Um, it's kind of the plasma's worst nightmare, really, is any moisture in the line. And worst case scenario, it's coming up your torch and it, you know it's getting into the, the very end of the, the into the torch head, and it's going to affect your consumables massively. Um, so any moisture get, getting anywhere near any of that, um, yeah, it's going it's to reduce reduce the life of all your consumables and the torch. You know, electricity and moisture doesn't mix. Um, so one really easy way to tell if you've got moisture getting anywhere near the machine is the regulator on the back of the machine. Now this isn't a water filter on the back. Um, it's it's mainly there just as an indicator, um, like I say. So if you see any any water in the bottom of that bowl, um, you know it's come too far. You know it shouldn't be getting that far. So if you have got water in that bowl, most likely there's going to be a buildup in your compressor. Um, so obviously there's a lot of moisture in the air, so it builds up inside the compressor. Um, so if you if your plasma cutting regularly, may, maybe you know empty out your compressor daily. And there's normally a tap on there which just releases all the water, um, or weekly at least. Um, the other option, which is a very good option and, and sort of stops any, any you know, accidents happening, is a, an actual air filter. Um, we've got a couple of options available on our website, and these go in line from, so in between your compressor and your machine, and yeah, it just traps any moisture that might sort of get through. So yeah, using one of those or keep, you know, keeping on top of your compressor maintenance is gonna massively prolong the life of your tips, torch, and even machine. So it's, it's really important to look at. So all of this is available to view obviously on our website. So the machines and the consumables that all accompany all this. Um, so I hope it was all useful information for anyone who's looking to buy one of our machines or you already own one. Yeah, just a few little tips to, to help you go along the way. So thanks for watching. See you again.